All right. Of all these different types of cameras, the SLR camera, the range finder camera, the view camera, here we have a different style of range finder camera. Here we have a, a range finder camera taking it apart. But here we have another range finder camera. This one happens to be a digital range finder camera. All of them have four basic parts, right? So this is a reminder, we talked about this last time. What are the four basic parts of the camera? <laughs> That's right. So, and this is in no particular order. Recording medium, shutter, aperture, and lens, right? And we also said that not only does the camera have these four basic parts, and it doesn't matter what type of camera, a view camera has those four parts. An SLR camera has those four parts. Not only does a camera have those four parts, but we also said that a camera is kind of like your eye. Our human eye has some of those same four, does have those same four components. Right? On the front of our eyeball, there is a lens that focuses light. Just like there's a lens on the front of the camera that focuses light. Uh, just like in our eyes, if the light is too intense, if it's too bright, I have a hard time seeing. Right inside my eyeball, I have that, that opening that can constrict or dilate the pupil, right? So that pupil, if it constricts or dilates, if it closes down or opens up, it's going to let in more or less light. In a camera, we have something similar. It's not pupil. We call it the aperture. Right in our eyeball, if I want to totally close off the light, like I want to go to bed, right? I can close my eyes. That's like the shutter, right? The shutter in your camera is like a door or window that opens and closes, let light and come in, or it closes to, to shut the light off, right? And then in our eyes, the very back layer of our eyeball, called the retina, is where the light actually is focused and where the light is actually captured and recorded. Now, in cameras, the recording medium can be one of two things. In cameras, let's say prior to the 1990s, what was the recording medium in all cameras? Film. Film of some sort, right? So the recording medium for cameras in the 60s and the 50s and the 40s was a piece of film. Right. Now, what is the recording medium in a digital camera? So here's a little digital camera. If we take it apart, inside of this little digital camera, I'll pass this around so you guys can see it. There's a teeny tiny little microchip right there touching it. You wouldn't want to touch this in normal case. I'm touching it. And that little microchip is the recording medium. In this case, it's a CCD, which is a charge-coupled device. It looks a lot like a very teeny tiny little solar panel. In fact, actually, the science behind what makes a CCD work and a solar panel work are the same thing. Basically, a CCD is a small little solar panel that's covered in silica and when the light hits it, it produces electricity. Just like when light hits a solar panel on top of your roof, it produces electricity. So I'll pass this around so you guys can take a look. So the recording medium depends on if you have a digital camera. If it's a digital camera, it's going to be a, a microchip like a CCD, or another type of microchip is a CMOS, C-M-O-S. 